Okay, I've got an old uh, turn cancel mechanism here, uh, and I just want to show you how it operates. A lot of people don't understand the mechanism. All right, so right down in here is a little tab right there, and that tab is what protrudes like that when you make a turn. And the steering wheel, that piece of metal that goes back and forth, it's kind of half moon shaped, will push as you're coming around. That piece will come around and it'll push like this. Watch. And now it's back to neutral, see? So then if you make a turn the other way, It comes around like this and pushes and it cancels the turn, see? So there, there, and again if you cancel it, whoop, I'll go in the wrong direction here, there. You can see how quick it works and it just cancels it. This is a tired old mechanism but it's still actually will function pretty well. Here we go. And where it's all back to neutral. And that's how it works. It's just simple like that. So one of the problems that we have with the aftermarket units is that there normally is a little uh, pin that goes down inside that hole that keeps the compression of the metal parts from coming too close and getting too tight. The aftermarket ones do not have that, so you have to be careful when you tighten up the screws that you don't warp and everything has to, to make, sh make it fit, as you can see. So this squeezes down and then this mounts into the steering column. So it squeezes down and once it, if it gets too tight then this, it will not cancel. And so the best way to do it is get it where it cancels by, by using a screwdriver like I did and then start tightening it down and seeing if you can get it pretty snug. And uh, that's what I do and I've done it several times so it works. Okay, anyway, good luck.